Okay, a really big pattern that I'm noticing in my mindset coaching is this identification with I have horrible self-talk, right? It's just like, that's it. And nothing is done about it. Maybe a little dabble here and there and it's, that's it. It's just like, I'm just going to notice I have this thing and I'm not going to do anything about it. And if this resonates with you, if you've noticed that your self-talk could use some improvement, I will tell you that like all of the massive changes that I've experienced in my life have come from this root of changing how I see myself, how I relate to myself, what I allow in terms of how I treat myself and proactively changing that. And this is the thing is it takes reps, a lot of reps. It's just a habit, negative self-talk. So if you notice, yeah, I'm kind of hard on myself. I beat myself up about stuff. I have a hard time getting results in certain areas of my life. Then I hope this video comes as hope, as a message of encouragement because you can change it. It's just like any other habit. It's just, it's going to take a lot of reps. It's going to take awareness. So start small, right? When you happen to notice, wow, I'm being really hard on myself or I'm telling myself all these sub optimal self-limiting thoughts. I like to start it with, okay, let me try that again. Right. And let, let me phrase that in a way that would be more kind and respectful. Just like with somebody else. If somebody was saying to your kid when they're you know, down, like, oh yeah, you suck. You're never going to do it. You, you can't because you're fat and ugly and you'll always be poor. You'd be like, hey, bro, like back off, you know? So it's not allowing that with ourselves from ourselves either. In these small and simple little moments like that, they start to accumulate. And the last thing is practicing proactive, positive, or supportive self-talk out of the blue, right? So... I started this with, yes, affirmations in the mirror. And I know people will be like, well, it doesn't work. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Because it's worked for me and many other people. Like just looking myself in the eyes and saying, you're beautiful. And I got you. And I love you. And you're a good mom. And you're a good friend. And you're a beautiful person. Th those things matter. Look yourself in the eyes and say that stuff to yourself. If you're feeling fearful in a business endeavor, like you are doing great. Keep it up stay true to yourself. You got this. I got you. These things matter. So practice being positive, supportive, nurturing self-talk proactively. If you do well with something like, dude, good job. That was hard. And you did it. Proud of you. Right. And that will change your internal environment, which will give you wings. It will be the fire that, that give you like a log on your fire of life that will help you soar to new heights. It's really important. It can be changed. You just got to be up for repatterning like any other habit. It just takes reps. Right. And pretty soon those knee jerk reactions of, oh, you should have blah, blah, blah. And oh, I can't believe you. Well, that's so embarrassing. And that will just start your automatic reactions will start to change. And it is so worthwhile because it's the foundation of your self-concept, your self-worth, your self-image, what you believe you're worthy of. Okay. So <laughs> apparently <laughs> Instagram supports me <laughs> in this message. Um, so yeah, that's my message. It's just like, don't just allow that shit. Don't just allow, just don't, don't just sit there with, I have negative self-talk start putting in the work to change it. It will change your whole life, your whole internal experience of peace. <laughs>